back with a new product review and this time we're going to be reviewing African Pride's Heat Activated Mask. Now this is made with Moroccan clay and shea butter for natural coils and curls. Um, this particular product states to leave it on. Let me see the in directions girl. Section clean wet hair. Apply generously from root to end, cover with a plastic cap, and sit under a hooded dryer for 15 minutes. I have my dryer here with the nifty difty um, attachment, and we're gonna be applying it to my hair. My hair has already been cleansed. We're gonna use all of it, girl, all of it. But then um, I'm also gonna be adding some hair oil to my scalp and massaging that in, okay? So let's just go ahead and get into this, girl. Very, very thick, has a light fragrance to it. What is this, 12 ounces? Look how thick this is. Yes, ma'am. Oh, this is very thick. With the thickness of this, I may put it in a little bit of water. I don't know, you guys. Something this thick, I will put it in water to allow it to warm up some so that it can spread out evenly. But we're gonna go ahead and apply it to my hair anyway because my hair, as is, because my hair is soaking wet. Um, yeah, very light scent to it, but it's not bad. It is not overwhelming at all. All right, y'all, let me start sectioning off my hair and apply it to uh, my strands, okay? All right, you guys, so here is what the mask looks like as I'm up applying it to my hair. One thing I wanna state is that you want to ensure that your hair is soaking wet. Honey, you can see here that I got water all over my face. So I am combing my hair. You really don't need to do this, but I just want to make sure that the mask is evenly distributed throughout my hair. I still do recommend warming this product up because it is, it is fairly thick. Um, and I didn't end up using all of it, y'all. I had about, mm, about three tablespoons. <laughs> girl that's almost all of it i had about three tablespoons left excuse my child in the background it is what it is so continuing to apply the product um what i'm going to do is i'm um, use my nifty difty um heat and cap for y'all something's wrong with my heat and cap i know it's old so i need to get a hooded dryer here soon uh, specifically for deep conditioning so yeah continuing to add the product to my hair and we shall see how this works out So the heat cap is going on using the blow dryer I purchased a couple of months ago, but look, it started to smoke. So I whipped that bad boy off and instead applied a warm towel to my hair and I left the deep conditioner on for about an hour and it rinsed out really good. All right, you guys, I am done rinsing out the mask. Now, hmm, soaking wet out. Curls are popping. My hair feels a little frizzy on top, like the top layer feels frizzy. But bear in mind, this particular mask is made with clay, so it is supposed to detox the hair or, or remove buildup or impurities, basically. So I'm not expecting it to act like a traditional deep conditioner. With that being said, I'm gonna follow up with a moisturizing deep conditioner. And um, yeah, my hair feels soft, it feels moisturized, but I definitely feel like I need to do a traditional deep conditioner at this point. At the end of the day, I still recommend the mask because it did what it was supposed to do. And so now, let me go ahead and slather on this Queen Helen. And let me go ahead and slap on this other DC. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.